Hey. Since this is my first video, I'm going to start by introducing myself. I'm Minky, and I'm going to be making some curry shrimp today. It's my specialty, so I just thought, hey, might as well start my first video off with this. Here, I have my ingredients. I'm going to use um, shrimp. This is peeled and de-veined, washed with lemon juice. I am going to add, this is Maggie season up for fish. That's it right there. Uh, I need some oil, some pink Himalayan salt, and some betta pak curry, Jamaican curry, the best. Also some green bell peppers, chopped garlic, scotch bonnet pepper, green onions or scallions, and uh, onions. This is all my ingredients that I'm going to use for my curry. Okay, first I'm going to pour the oil in the skillet. Kind of turn the stove on so my skillet is kind of warm. Um, I use like a, ha a quarter cup of oil. Okay, so I'm going to add all of my dry seasonings to the shrimp. Well, except the curry. And my salt. Come on, salt. Okay, then I'm gonna burn my curry. So my oil is hot. I pour the curry in and the garlic. Mmm, smells so good. So you're just gonna burn it a little bit. And you add your onions. And your green onions or scallions. Then your pepper. Oh my god, this pepper is hot. So what you're gonna do is um you're gonna saute everything until your onions become translucent, like almost cooked, before you add your shrimp in, because shrimp is easy to cook. It's easily cooked and you don't wanna get them hard. So, I'm gonna stir this continuously until my onions and my green onions or scallions are cooked and my pepper before I add my shrimp in. Okay, so now my onions are cooked and nicely done. I'm gonna add my shrimp in. And then just continuously stir. shake and stir okay, now I'm gonna add my sweet pepper our green bell peppers now I like my stuff crunchy and I just forget one small detail if you want your sauce or your gravy to be thick, you can add a little cornstarch with some water. Okay, so you... And you're just gonna cover. Turn the stove off because even though it's off, it's still cooking with the heat under it. Well, my stove does that. And I like my pepper crunchy, so you're just going to let it simmer. That's the finished product. 